What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be showing you how to make this awesome witch hat, so let's get started. So you want to go to the new and base plates and under all templates and go to the view and open up the, uh, no, I mean avatar. Go to the avatar and open up the rig builder, then just hit a uh, block avatar. Then open up the explorer. If you do not have that open, it's just under the view and explorer tab right there. Then go to your rig and right click on it and then hit export selection. And then just export it somewhere we can load it in in just a moment. All right guys, now just open up Blender. If you do not have that downloaded, there will be a link in the description below. So then just go to a general file and hit A and X to select all and delete everything. And then we want to import our rig. So go to file, import and wavefront.obj. Then just go to where you saved it and open it up. So now you just want to select that and right click and hit set origin, origin to 3D cursor and geometry to origin, okay? So now that will get our rig in the center and just we want to fix one problem. If we go into the material view, then the rig will be slightly transparent. So go into the material tab and scroll down to uh, blend mode and change that to opaque so that should fix our problem now we can get into modeling so just go back into the viewport uh, shading solid view and hit shift a and add a circle right here and just click g and z to grab that and drag it onto the e i mean, I mean z axis and then click tab to go into edit mode and make sure you select everything by clicking A and hit F and then click E to extrude that up hit A and S to scale everything up a little bit bigger and S and Z to scale it down just a little bit and go to the face selection mode and click I to inset the face and then go to the front view by clicking this right here and hit E to extrude, uh, scale that down a little bit by clicking S and G, and then R to rotate. Then just click E again, and this time click M and hit merge at center. So now we'll just uh, drag this over here, uh, the point right here. Make sure you have vertice mode on, and then click Alt to select a rain and click Command B. And before I do that, actually, I'm just gonna grab it and bring it down. And then uh, I'm going to hit Control B to bevel that. Actually, Command B if you're on Mac. But go back into Edit Mode and select this ring right here and hit R to rotate it. And then hit Control R and click right there and drag it down a little bit. And then click our, select our ring again by clicking Alt and go to the side view and hit R to rotate it. And Go to the face selection mode and hit Alt to uh, select this ring of faces right here and hit Alt E and extrude faces along normals. And actually, we probably could have just done E. And then don't move your cursor anywhere and click S to scale it out just to right about here. All right, so now we have about all the geometry done. But one last thing. Uh, click alt and select this face and hit S shift uh, Z to scale on the X and Y axis just to make that base a little bigger and right click shade smooth and go to the normals tab right here and click normals and auto smooth so now that witch hat looks pretty good I could probably drag the face down a little bit and uh, oh actually go to the bottom face and click I and uh, tab to go into edit mode and G and Z to drag that up actually we want to extrude that again and control B to uh, bevel that and then go into edge selection mode alt and control B and uh, that will give us a nice place for our character to put their head and I'm just going to drag mine up a little bit by clicking G and Z and then just scale it down all right, that looks uh, that looks a lot better. Now it's time for the uh, texturing portion of it. So, actually, we forgot to do one more thing. Go back into edit mode and click O, and that will turn on proportional editing. Or you can just click this little button right here 
and G and Z to, uh, you know, actually you can probably just click G and then just bring it down a little bit and use your uh, scroll wheel to change the radius it is uh, dragging, which hats are not flat, so we just want to give them a little bit of a, actually that's, probably, that's, that's a lot too much, just want to give them a little bit of a curve to make it look a little more realistic and better, you know. Okay, so once you have that done, then all we need to do is texturing it. This portion is super easy. Actually, probably could have uh, gone a little lighter with. All right, but that's pretty good. Okay, so now go to the UV editing and open a texturing palette. So to get this palette, you can literally just screenshot it. I'm pretty sure that's what I just did for this. I think it came from the Row Builder Discord, so you can go get it there, or you can just like screenshot it. Uh, but there will be a link in the description for that too. So on face mode, we just want to hit Alt and select both of these lines of faces. All right, and then click U and unwrap. Uh, and then make sure your cursor is on the left side of the screen and hit A, S, 0. And then drag it to whatever color you'd like. I just want mine to be blue, so I'm just going to drag it right there. And hit Control i to select everything else in the mess. Mesh, that's not currently being selected. U, unwrap your cursors on this side and A, S, and 0. And then drag it to the white right here. And we forgot to turn off proportional editing, so just click O and go to the material tab and hit new on material and change the base color to a image texture and to the uh, palette that we have right there all right now if we go into material view we should be able to see our colors right there yeah so we can see all of our colors and uh, man I made this I think I made this a little bit too big right here all right guys so I just scaled the witch hat top right here just by selecting all this right here you know by using this and all of that and I just hit S shift Z and I just scaled that all in obviously not right th like that and I just brought this up a little bit uh, but anyways let's get this exported into Roblox so what you want to do is select that make sure it's selected or else this won't work and hit file export and wavefront.obj and then just export it somewhere you can get it in just a moment I'm just going to name mine to which hat and limit to selection only and hit export get back into Roblox Studios and hit command I for a mesh part put in the mesh part and go to properties uh, you'll get that by going to the view tab and clicking the properties button right here and change the mesh ID to the which hat you made and hit open and just no and that should import our witch hat yeah our witch hat is right here okay now we need a rig so if you stored your file open from before that's that's good or you can just put in a new rig so I'm just gonna do a block rig and I'm going to drag this on top of the rigs head alright okay that looks that looks pretty good okay oh probably got to drag that down a little more alright guys now that's how to make a witch hat UGC item I'll see you in the next video